Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today uh, is another great day. Uh, we are going to talk about the Ukrainian situation, right? Actually, on February, uh, once the Ukraine war has been started, up until now, uh, none of a party means uh, the Ukraine war between Ukraine and Russia, none of a party, uh, none of them, if you talk about both the parties, none of them has uh, achieved the victory, right? Now, today, the latest news comes, uh, I have... Uh, I have copied from the, this thing from the CNN news source and uh, the latest uh, news comes out that Zelensky, uh, the Ukrainian president, he has uh, urged to the European nation, uh, European Union and uh, other European countries that he need urgently to his country 850 billion winter uh, aids supplies such like electricity and uh, everything basically electricity and power because uh, by the russian attacks so many uh, ukrainian uh, cities are shattered and destroyed already and because of that reason uh, he's urging to the european union and uh, us and other countries because uh, he needs his country uh, to be win this war but uh, i don't know how far it is uh, going to be successful and how far it is uh, it's going to be uh, become a reality because he seems to be now uh, a puppet who's dancing uh, according to the <laughs> some nations and according to some news according to uh, some political analysts and geopolitical analysts uh, political critics they said that he's a uh, like a dancing puppet which is beating the drums of the European Union in the Western countries. It's a puppet of Western countries. Uh, in some points, yes, I do agree with, uh, with them because uh, he would have to be manipulated and he, to, he, uh, he had the maneuverability to uh, balance this situation uh, on last year. But unfortunately, he could be able to do that uh, because his country is under under attack and under the war, and uh, uh, there is a war uh, in Kiev and other other parts of uh, Ukraine. Especially Crimea has been badly uh, damaged, and uh, Ukrainian forces and Ukrainian uh, paramilitary forces is being funded and uh, influenced and funded by the. Uh, NATO and its allies, but uh, Russia is a sovereign nation, right? Because uh, the Western people, Western countries, they know very well uh, if they want to win this war, uh, they have to do something. But they haven't done enough yet to win this war, right? Uh, we know uh, uh, Russia as a, uh, he presumably he is a dictator, Russian president. Vladimir Putin is a dictator, uh, and his uh, iron curtain has been shattered and has been uh, given the clue to the world uh, what will be the future of the world. Right. So uh, I think this is uh, this is a very significant situation uh, because that's what he wants actually. Uh, he wants the Europe, entire Europe. Uh, to be suffer because of the, the winter comes already winter it's already uh, came uh, before the winter comes they would have to be prepared but uh, nothing has changed and uh, there was fuel so shortages uh, electricity shortages inside the Ukraine and people are suffering I think millions of people will be going to die uh, some sources says some writer uh, reported reports says that more than two million people already got killed and massacred by the Russian forces, by the uh, Russian missile attacks. So it's a good example to the world's world. Uh, unless we become united and we become uh, united and we if we don't act 
properly according to the uh, according to the peace treaties uh, peace policies this will happen again and again so uh, the if you if you if you if you think about the russian uh, russian side on on russian side actually the russian president he wants he has on his political agenda he has uh, some of the uh, basic principles and basic plans uh, he's a mastermind person and uh, even though he uh, did not take the right thing uh, i cannot i cannot guarantee or i cannot say i cannot justify the way uh, he attacked to ukraine always i'm supporting to united ukraine right ukraine is a sovereign nation but ukraine should understand uh, something which is vulnerable and something which is unique something which is more important more critical that is a bitter truth right sometimes in our human life we are not able to understand what's going on in our life and what's happening in our life what is going to be happening in our life right the same situation in in political scenario as well uh, in this political saga ukraine president he should understand this is a pre planned war and uh, last year at this time like december november like this time he has been invited to by the uh, to russia by the russian president to talk about the current situation he warned uh, as a early warning pre war pre war signals don't set up the military uh, bases don't set up uh, the in, in russian border don't set up the military bases and uh, nuclear warheads funded by the nato and funded by the uh, us but unfortunately he did not listen to it this is the may basically this is the main cause of this war uh, why do i tell like that actually uh, this is a this is a this is a turning point to ukraine as well as russia uh, but uh, i want to say you something which is very important why the ukraine still uh, neither winning part or neither uh, either you losing part or neither uh, winning part because ukraine uh, forces and the paramilitary forces funded by uh, by uh, drones and the missiles and uh, uh, arms and their munitions and the military aids by the nato by by the number of many countries i think nearly uh, 40 countries uh, into the list of the uh, nato 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 alliances uh, actually the problem is russia is only one country right uh, it's a huge cost to them uh to winning this war and running this war because if they stop this war it means ethically and it is uh, like politically geopolitically it's not a uh, good future for the russian president right and the people of russia right and the russian image image we do have image right uh, everybody has his or her and its all respectation due to this reason russia is a lone country but it it, will, it would funded uh, by the ammunitions and by the aids from china or maybe other countries as well however some russians living in ukraine some ukrainians living in uh, russia so they almost like they use they speak the same language because they understand with each other by the war tactic wise uh, strategically and russian troops as well as ukrainian troops they have the great maneuverability to running and upon the situation to get ready right so uh, you know war war cannot be happen at once there is a reason right there is a reason if you talk about the second world war third world war vietnam war each and every war right in the gulf war and other wars kosovo wars uh, and even in sri lanka and kashmir war there is a reason 
even even though Ukrainian war, it's a civil war. Whatever the, uh, in Rwanda, in Burundi, uh, also Guatemala, uh, many places, right? Many places in the world. Whatever, whatever it happens, which is related to politics, there is a war, right? Uh, this is not a problem of ethnicity or, or racism or any other, other kind of internal political matter. This is a geopolitical matter. So this geopolitical matter, actually America wants the Ukraine to be away from the Russia. And it wants, uh, it wants uh, lead, least the power and reduce the power of Russia. So they want to make some internal problems. That is their strategy, you know. Uh, that is their tactic geopolitically there are some people if you think uh, some governments like like even most of the western governments strategically and if you think they are ethical and they are good people and blah 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 and they are very united and whatever they say their principles geopolitical principles international law and everything which is correct they don't want actually those Western nations, they all are the same. They have the political agenda as well as under the table, they have another agenda. It means they don't want any country to be raised up, right? China, Iran, example, Cuba, and other countries like Brazil, uh, even Vietnam, and North Korea, those are the uh, anti-American countries, even Iran, right? Now, Saudi Arabia become the latest among the among that list because after the Chinese president visited uh, last few days ago, he visited to uh, Riyadh, the same situation occurred. So how, what can we learn, uh, dear sisters and brothers, and uh, what fate can we learn about it? Because number one, one thing is we are living in a very dangerous world, actually. Secondly, uh, anything, anytime, can be happen to any nation in the world, right? So we have to be get prepared. We, uh, uh, once we take the political de decisions, especially powerful countries, once we, uh, whenever we take the, of well, obviously we are not the people who uh, get the political decisions, geopolitical decisions, uh, which is something vulnerable, which is something unique, which is something uh, very very critical. Uh, strategically and politically as well as uh, we need we need to be have a maneuverability kind of maneuverability uh, to adjust the situation and we should think tomorrow and the future after 20 years what will happen we would have to plan right uh, we would be uh, make our achievement political and economical achievements economical plans and sustainable development. If you want to become a great prosperity, political decisions are very, very important. Look at what, uh, what has happened in Sri Lanka because uh, yeah, since 1960, uh, after 1960, uh, you can say since 1970, the people uh, in Sri Lanka, politicians, each and every prime minister, each and every president, whoever, which has been taken the decisions, political decisions, badly effective to our country, and we are divided into two parts, uh, Sinhalese and Tamils, and people fighting with each other, 30 years of war, uh, hundreds of thousands, I think, uh, let's say 500,000, more than 500,000 lives were lost, and you know, I would say you one thing, if somebody lost his leg, if somebody uh, wounded, and if somebody paralyzed, the, the war victims, how can you make a, a added, added value service? How can you give something to the prosperity? How can you deserve it to your country and to your nation and your society? This is the main important thing. Whether it could be happening in Ukraine, it could be happening in Africa, it could be happening in Central Asia, it could be happening in Latin America, in South America or uh, US or wherever it is, even Asian countries. 
this is a significant issue and this is the biggest issue in the world because you know price how much you can uh, price priceless the life become price of the life cost of the life is a costless thing you cannot measure the value of a human life because we are into a arms race and we have a lot of lot of uh, problems almino global warming also on layer uh, and we are uh, now seeking the greenhouse uh, gas effect and we are going to much more green energy sources these days like solar power wind power hydro uh, hydro power like that and also basically uh, air pollution and the weather pattern has changed uh, 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 high rising of the temperature in the world and uh, high volume of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide due to the industrial nations uh, bad decisions we call as a development and globalization but we will be into globalization <laughs> unfortunately our future generation after 100 years they will suffer not much more you can say 100 years or 200 years they will suffer this is the basically this is the biggest point we have to think right so uh, societal collapse is the most important thing most dangerous thing in, in anywhere in the world if the ukraine has collapsed or even russia has collapsed it gives another problem into other countries as well right so we have to be very careful in that point so uh, this is the situation in the world i want to give you a brief about uh, these things and i want to give you my viewers uh, to give some kind of uh, let's say some ideas and some education to uh, all of you and we'll see you another great video and uh, i will uh, i will hope that you enjoy this video and have a great day and future hope to be uploaded in the latest situation take care bye bye